What is Jesus saying? Jesus is saying this. He said, we live in an age of disobedience where more people are not living under his dominion than are living under his dominion. He said that the times are changing and that we are moving from an age of disobedience to an age of obedience. This is good news, isn't it? This is what we're praying for. So he said we're in a period of transition. Now, so we go from an age of disobedience to an age of obedience. What we're in now is the period of transition. I heard this summarized. Saint uh, John Paul II said that we live in the advent of the second coming. We are in the advent period of the second coming. And we're called to serve. We're part of something very beautiful, this renewal. Jesus said, this is time. A great renewal is taking place. Jesus didn't say, I'm thinking of having a renewal. <laughs> he didn't say, we might just have a renewal. Jesus said, a great renewal is taking place. You and I have been placed in time during this renewal. You and I are called to participate in this renewal. Praise God, right? So this is what I saw about this, that God, the plan is that Jesus fills us up and that then we let it flow through us. And what was dark becomes light through each one of us, his apostles. Jesus is counting on us to respond to him and to let his life flow through us. There was a saint called Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, and he talked about something called an intermediate coming. And I think this accurately describes the period in which we're living. He said, we know there are three comings of the Lord. The third lies between the other two. It is invisible, while the other two are visible. In the first coming, he was seen on earth, dwelling among men. He himself testifies that they saw him and hated him. In the final coming, all flesh will see the salvation of our God, and they will look on him whom they pierce. St. Bernard goes on to say, the intermediate coming is a hidden one. In it, only the elect see the Lord within themselves, and they are saved. In the first coming, our Lord came in our flesh and in our weakness. In the middle coming, he comes in spirit and power. Now, this is what we're seeing. This is happening. He says, goes on to say, in the final coming, he will come in glory and majesty. So we emphasize this middle coming because it is the renewal. And I believe that it is taking place right now. And I believe you and I are part of it and we are chosen. So praise God. So we have to become holy. I understand that God reveals himself into the church through time. The church is emerging. The bride of Christ is being prepared. Just as she is emerging, and just as she is being prepared, so you and I are emerging. You and I are being prepared. The church moves through time. You and I move through our life. With God's grace, we are advancing in holiness. We must cooperate with God's grace, with his plan for us, so that the church, whatever responsibility you and I have to help form the bride of Christ, will be possible. We have a role to play. God is hinging the renewal on our holiness. You may think, well, that is a seriously shaky plan. <laughs> Holy cats. I'm nervous. Jesus, I hope you have a plan B. 
But I'm telling you, don't worry about it, because I see enormous growth in holiness in God's children. The thing about holiness, it's a funny thing. The holier you get, the more aware you are of your unholiness. Excellent. Excellent. Who wants to stay in a dark room and say it's clean? Well, pull open the drapes and get to work. We don't have to be afraid. The beauty of the renewal is that he comes through each one of us. He gives healing graces to others. And then while they are moving into holiness, he uses them. We don't have to be perfected in order to be effective. Isn't it true? If we were holy enough, we'd be dead. We're still here with Jesus begging for enlightenment. And yet, I feel certain that Jesus has worked through everyone in this church. Isn't it true? You've done something to help somebody else, and yet you're imperfect. So the plan will work. It will hold water. God's plan for renewal will hold water.